Hi guys, I'm Dean Boerter welcoming you to the ninth installment of Boom Plus 27. We're on the verge of spring, ready to brighten your day with a fresh, exclusive content on all things pop culture, design and high fashion. I'm not exaggerating when I say this episode is going to be pretty special, so here's some of what to expect. Somewhere between Latino and hilarious is Mr. Pablo Francisco, who spoke to us in one of his many voices. Then we've got Durban outsider, punk outfit, fruit and veggies, misbehaving, and world renowned platinum status rock band, The Used, who recently performed at the Grand West Casino. We take you behind the scenes on our self made themed fashion shoot before giving you insider angle on international lifestyle brand Head Candy and their interests in making South Africa the next Ibiza. Finally, we've got the stuff you want and we're willing to give it away in our whole host of sweet competitions. Pablo Francisco is a comedian with more energy than the sun and twice as bright. From Arnie to Danny Glover, his pitch perfect impersonations are put to the craziest context and let me tell you, they work. That's right, and he's been drunk with Pablo in Iceland. But there's going to be a group of comics this summer has comedy written all over it. If you made it to the show, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But in case you missed it, the interview is available for you online at onesmallc.tv. Start the party at the festival. Armed with a pack of 20s and a rebel spirit, Fruit and Veggies is the Durban based punk everything band whose enthusiasm fuels the crowd into reckless abandon. Somewhere between indifference and rebellion, we were able to sneak in a few questions. And that's pretty cool. Like, I'm amped, like, you know, jamming in a band that sounds like us, like no one else. I also think part of it is that we all, we all uh, growing up as young musicians in Durban, we've been very much part of the punk scene. And the Durban punk scene is unique in the fact that most of the punks don't listen to punk. And we grew up knowing we can go to the metal bar and put on a Bob Dylan album at Oaks will dance. With millions, literally millions of fans from all corners of the world, the used hit South Africa shores and judging from the crowd's reaction, they certainly made waves. Big ones. As usual, we got behind the scenes and spoke with the full band at their Grand West gig on the 8th of August. You're not going to find this interview anywhere else on the net, only at onesmallc.tv. But I feel like everyone has nothing, and it has nothing to do with money, and it has nothing to do with where we lived. We're just fans of music first. And I feel like that's the reason why people really relate to us, and I, they will always relate to us, because we never wanted to be fucking rock stars. We don't get a, we don't get a fucking high from being famous. We get a high from playing music that people can, can connect to, and we also get a high from listening to music that we can connect to, so that's the most important thing. The night was epic to be sure. We were able to score time with Fokov Polisi Car, whose full interview is available online. But we do have a little special something for you right now. Glitch Pop Phoenix Group Lark gave us a moment between showcasing their new material and working hard on a new album just for you. What, what has changed to make you guys decide to give it another go? Well, I mean, I think it's as simple as we've, we just missed working together. I, I mean, I've been collaborating with other people and Paul, Paul has a band mm -hmm. in the UK and he's working with lots of different producers and he's, he's grown immensely and he's been exposed yeah. to quite a lot of cool stuff. You know, we kind of missed it so much that we started writing this album, literally using email and Skype and whatever we could to kind of like just, you know, kind of get ideas going again. How have your, your fans reacted to your, your comeback? Their heads fell off. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, we like that a lot. They picked it up. And yeah, it up. Yeah, we, we, had, we had a really amazing response last night at Opie Copy, mm -hmm. which was our first show doing this, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know what people were expecting. I think, you know, they were probably expecting to see what they've seen before. And I think what, you know, we showed them the right balance of obviously our, our old stuff that everyone knows and of the new stuff. And, mm -hmm. uh, and it just it seemed to work, so... So what exactly goes on behind the scenes at One Small Seed Collective? Wouldn't you love to know? Well, you're in luck, because we're about to give you a sneak peek into the behind the scenes of our recent self-made themed photo shoot. All will be revealed between the covers of our new One Small Seed magazine, coming hot off the press very, very soon.
Next up, South Africa is in for a treat. International lifestyle brand Head Candy has taken our shores in a tour de force of Smooth House imported directly from Ibiza and London. Summer season in Cape Town, we're going to go down to La Med and we're going to spin some tunes down there on a Sunday afternoon at La Med. Every weekend's going to be a full tour, isn't it? It's going to yeah, start Friday, Friday's going to start Johannesburg, Saturday night will be Cape Town, Sunday will be the party down at La Med, so... We're not done with Head Candy just yet. Keep an eye out on onesmallseed.com because more often than not, you'll find an opportunity to get on the guest list where you'll be partying with us. In celebration of your enthusiastic response, Feiyu is back to present you with another opportunity to get your hands on the coveted kicks in weeks to come. So look out for all of that on the One Small Seed Collective. The Southern Comfort Creative Exchange saw a host of talented young graphic artists go head to head for 12,000 rands and a spotlight in the upcoming print issue of One Small Seed magazine. Benedict Sebastian's Don't Turn Your Back on a Good Thing took the gold medal, with Tsepo Makete taking second place. Third place was too close to call and therefore resulted in a tie between Byron Graper and Clinton Campbell. So, let's say your grandfather was an international man of mystery. No, not the hairy Brit with bad teeth. Anyway, let's say he passed away before you knew him. And let's say you got the chance to ask him a question. Or ten. What would you ask him? Well, that's the concept behind the David Carr directed short film, Ten for Grandpa. Well worth watching? Check it out at onesmallseed.tv. Just let Grandpa be your colorful little story you tell at cocktail parties. And let it go. If I had met my grandfather, I would have had a few questions. Finally, we leave you wanting more and delivering with the fast-paced Team Fortress 2 inspired mac and cheese. Be forewarned, you may not be able to handle the trip. But if you know the risks and accept them, well, then we're both ready to tune in and drop out. Until next time, fellow denizens of the web, keep checking in for your fix of high-class candy. Ciao, ciao.